With the year winding down and the holiday season soon approaching, my partner Eleanor and I have come to the conclusion that the way we are living our lives needs to shift. Morning. We've realized that the way we are living life is not working for us. We've been working harder and harder, yet it seems like our struggling was only making things worse. We had come to the realization that we were not spending our days engrossed in the activities we truly enjoy doing. the society fed grind hard equals happiness and success mentality to the point of exhaustion and burnout Almost as if our nervous systems are craving a simpler, more ancestral way of living. We are now setting course on a new path. A path of making life as easy as possible. This is the story of our commitment to choosing a different way to live life. Alright, what are we eating this morning? Grass-fed burger patties. Yes, ma'am.
Bad. Not bad. Like, this is incredible. Something I have noticed about burnout is it is akin to being in a riptide. When we are caught in a current towards an undesired direction, our fight or flight instinct kicks in and we are inclined to swim as hard as we can against the current in order to get back to shore, to get back home. We will tire ourselves out to the point of death with our struggle, thinking the harder we try, the better we will do. If, however, we are to stop swimming upstream, just move to the left or to the right, we can get out of the riptide. I know it isn't based in reason or logic, sometimes the way forward is actually going sideways. By giving up the struggle, I was able to return to shore, to return to home. Oops. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. The wand, Harry. Almost there.
I'm currently attending grad school and Eleanor is running a full-time business and Wi-Fi is kind of scarce out in Big Bend. So we decided to pack our things and go to a local cafe in order to complete some daily tasks. P.S. The food was delicious. We set off on a journey to find relaxation and to find ourselves, and I think we did just that. Well, hello, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind just liking and subscribing, it's free to do and it helps this video get into the algorithm for other people to see as well. A couple of intentions as to why I made this video were to help people to get into a meditative headspace and also just wanted to show people how we live our lives and how we navigate depression and anxiety and burnout and also to inspire you and so I hope you gain something from watching this video as well. Now this was Eleanor and I's third time in Big Bend in just under a year. We've been going out quite a bit. We actually ran a couple of retreats at the campground that we stayed at which I will link in the description down below and so we really love this area and what we really like to do and actually recommend is that you get a campsite outside of Big Ben and why we love this campsite is quick drive into the parks as well and then from there you have a campsite and you can go and do these day hikes now we haven't gone backpacking or overnighting in Big Bend yet. That definitely sounds like it's an amazing time and on the plans in the future. But we really do enjoy kind of just having a day camp where we can just like settle in and relax and then just do these day hikes here and there and just kind of visit different areas as well. So I've also linked all of the equipment that I use down in the description, the camping equipment and the camera equipment. So if any of that is of interest to you, you can find that down in the link below. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you next one, right?